Hi guys and welcome to today's video where I'd like to introduce you to my new pets which are giant grubs. Yes, so these are the larva stage of African fruit beetles. And I actually never realized how easy it was to get these. They're actually just sold as reptile food, but instead of feeding them to your reptiles, you can actually keep them, raise them, and have beetles. And I have to thank the person who left the comment in one of my videos about this, because then I started to look into them. I found a really handy, interesting video, which I'll link below if you want to know more about these. But I thought, yeah, it would be cool to raise these. I can document it so you can follow it as well. And we have beetles at the end of it. Now, before we get them out, we need to set up their new tank. So this is obviously what they came in, which is quite small. And it does say you could technically leave them in here, but I prefer to give them more room. Now, I did just want to get like topsoil or eco earth, but uh, topsoil there's no none of it anywhere for some reason so we have a bit of topsoil we have a bit of eco earth we have a bit of earth mix and we have quite a bit of earth mix arid which came out of Minnie's tank when I was cleaning her out so without further ado we're just gonna add everything in <sighs> wow that's dusty Okay, so we're gonna mix this up. Um, it is quite dry because this was from Minnie's tank and then it's been stored in a Tetley tea bag bag. Tetley tea bag, right? Yeah. Um, and so it's got really dry and dusty. So we're gonna add some water back in. I do have a little bit of moss that I might also add in. Now, do you need to add in every single thing I've put in here? No, I've seen people use just eco earth or just topsoil. I'm really just doing this because I have loads of little bits of dirt left over um, that I know will be safe for them. And so I'm just using it up because I think, you know what, they got a bit of a variety, but this is just what's working for me. If I could have found a whole bag of topsoil or had a whole bag of eco earth, then I would have probably just used that. But I've got a bit of variety in here now. Now, there are three major ingredients you need in this sort of mix. The first one is dried leaves. Now, luckily, I have quite a few at the moment. So, we're going to add these in. Now, the second ingredient is rotting wood. So, I've actually nabbed some bark. <laughs> Hopefully this will do. If not, I have heard you can like get your cork pieces and just like break them up, mix them in. That should do as well. And the third and final part is rotting fruit. Now, thankfully, one of our apples have gone off and look at that. That is grim. So we can pop these in and about the uh, tank. I figured I might leave one out and see if the grubs actually go towards it. That'd be quite interesting to see. But yeah, that's about it. So now it's time to introduce you to the grubs. So at the moment they're all hiding. Unless we, oh, if we flick this around a bit, look at that. That is a chunky grub. So here it is. Now we have about 10 in here, so I'm gonna pop them in in a minute. This is probably gonna be the only time I really hold them though because I'm just gonna leave them to it and next time I handle them, it'll probably be when they're beetles. But I figured it'd be a cool time to just sort of look at what, how they actually look. And these are their little, oh, sorry, sorry. These are their little legs and their little face. For some reason they're upside down, but we do not judge here. Wow, look, you can get around upside down. Okay, so let's pop them in. They seem to be um, pretty happy with just going deep down in the ground. I don't think they like light and the lid of this tank is actually black because i thought it might help black out some of that uh, light that might come in from around the sides but look straight away they're going deep down now this would be easier just to tip their tub in but i'm just counting them so we sort of know what to expect in terms of how many cocoons to see how many beetles to see so that's a sick one nine i believe i've only i could only find nine but there could be one in here somewhere so i'm going to tip this in anyway so 
So yeah, it looks like we have nine, which is absolutely fine by me. Uh, what I'll do is I'll link some things below, sort of places you can find these. Um, if you are interested in raising these, I'm going to try to update these every now and again. So first stage, there's the larva stage. Next time I'll update, it'll probably when it be when I start to notice cocoons, because yes, these build cocoons and it's really cool. And then it'll be beetles. Now, they're life cycle can be quite slow in comparison to say like a mealworm or something like a wax worm that you might be used to so this may take a little time this may be a series that is drawn out for a bit if i do have next episodes and you're watching this in the future i'll link them below but uh yeah i hope you follow me along this journey it'd be really cool to see them i'm sure i won't see these for ages now but i'll make sure they have some rotting food lots of leaves and rotting wood so anyway thanks for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed this video and goodbye <laughs>